What's going on everyone? It's me, your boy, Alex the Rambler, and today I'm back on Hearts of Iron 4. But we've actually got another sponsor today, haven't we, Jeeves? Oh, no, yes, that's quite right. He's a very, very lovely chap. I'm sponsoring my own channel again. I'm not getting paid doing this, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I recently did a collaboration with Angori Tom on Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. It's quite the hoot. Why don't you check it out? Here's a little clip. Angori. Angori. Where did that come from? Angora sweaters, just love them. I don't know that brand. Angora sweater, it's like um, it's like a type of wool. Is it? Is no, it? I don't know. I don't I'm sorry. Know. Uh, also, that's not where it comes. I thought that was going to be like a really, really high, high tier joke. Oh. Just ooh. Sorry. Swing and a miss. <laughs> I just, a lot of stuff goes over my head, just like uh, my hairline. <laughs> oh, oh, got him, got, got him, coach. <laughs> but we're playing tabs today. But check it out after you've already watched this video, so, you know, don't... Y y y y yeah. Am I using my Hearts of Iron videos as a springboard for you to check out my other content? Yes. Is it working? Probably not, but I'm going to keep doing it anyway. But today we're looking at a scenario. What if the Holy Roman Empire still existed in 1936? Whoa, Nelly! That's a humdinger! Oh my giddy arm! I'm going to give it the good old Rambler try, I'm throwing all of the old catchphrases in. A new empire has risen. Around 2,000 years have passed since the Roman Reich was dismantled and replaced by the Holy Roman Empire. Economic stability hasn't returned and mass unemployment hasn't been dealt with. The government has to do very important decisions. The church is very powerful because of the large budget they get from the empire. Okay, so I'm not sure if the person is a native English speaker or, or, or has some spelling mistakes. Maybe they're intentional, who knows? But we've got Franz II leading the Holy Roman Empire. We have the powerful full church. Okay. What is it with all of the additional L's? We have a mighty pope. That's a big buff. But also the consumer goods factories will nerf me a bit. And hyperinflation. Oh, fantastic. That's great. And it looks like the mod is set during, well, somehow the Holy Roman Empire is, is at its largest extent ever. I'm sure that's fine. This isn't, this isn't going to be overpowered at all. I'll leave the mod link in the description if you're that way inclined. And of course, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more map games on the channel. So there are actually two routes we could go down. Restore the Roman Empire or preserve the Empire. Now, I usually go down the most power-hungry route and just try and conquer the whole thing. But I'm actually tempted to preserve the current status quo today. And although, although Anschlussing Italy does sound good. Oh, it appears I start the game with 71 military factories. That's not overpowered at all. Just, ig just ignore the fact that that's a thing. It, it, it's, it's totally fine. Although I do have minus 50% of production, so that will hamper me a little bit, but... I think it's very unlikely that I would have been this powerful as the Holy Roman Empire, because it's always very decentralised. It, 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 you know, it was it was many, many states, and and traditionally the Emperor didn't it didn't have too much control over over everything. But I guess you can't really show that in, in, in Hoi 4. You'd need some sort of EU4 mechanic plopped in here. So, a so, li little bit of a flaw, uh, the, the, the Netherlands doesn't exist, however the Dutch East Indies still does. Gosh, why, why are modders so Eurocentric, eh? They can't even look into Asia and see that the Dutch East Indies is a thing. So having weighed up my decisions, while there is a war with France focus that I could go down if I just decided to preserve the Empire, who doesn't love the idea of restoring the Roman Empire? So. I'm going to go for the warmonger path, and it might go all terribly, terribly wrong. Yay. I do need war support. That's the only thing that I'm really lacking. Political power is coming in at almost three a day, so th 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 this, th this, this could be accused of being a little bit of an overpowered mod. Just a little one. Just a little bit. But could you imagine being such a thick boy in 1936? Like, this would easily be the most powerful country in Europe at that stage. Especially if it was all centralised, and it, apparently our capital is in Vienna. So, a centralised Holy Roman Empire with its capital in Vienna would, would be an absolute titan. 
if it was managed competently, which, which let's be honest, I probably, well, I'll, I'll give it my best. Oh yeah, baby. We're gonna do the Anschluss of Italy. Oh. Ah, Italy accepts the Anschluss. 2000 I don't know why they keep referring it to as the Roman Reich. Because even Reich just means realm, right? It's not empire. Oh, uh, well. We annex Italy either way. Boom. Just annexing an entire nation. Well, I guess it's Italy, so it's not really that overpowered. But it looks like Ethiopia's still around. I'm going to influence Hungarian politics. I don't know what this does because there isn't a description. Uh, but hopefully that means we just annex them too. Oh, wait, did I get Italy's navy? Oh. I did. I mean, it's 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 it's, ter it's a terrible navy, but a navy nonetheless. Oh, we can organise riots in Budapest or publish some of their classified information, and they get they they are pretty angry now. Whoa. Um, let's organise riots. Okay, so now we've got a war goal against them because they shot their protesters. Ah, I love it when a plan comes together. Not that I even knew this was a plan, but they they're going to die. So all of the German field marshals and generals don't have um, portraits anymore. However, the Italian ones do. But I, I would still prefer the better stats of the invisible generals. Like, I, I, I almost feel a bit sorry for Hungary. Because, you know, they, they didn't know the modder was going to create an OP mod. Let's see how long they'll last. This will be... I reckon, I reckon I can beat them by May. Let's see. Let's see what day this was on. So annex everything. Okay, so it was <laughs> it was actually a month ahead of time. Nice, 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 nice. I'm going to unlock the Mediterranean Sea <laughs> decisions. That's not spell check when you're making mods, is there? I'm very guilty of, of not uh, doing uh, spell checking my work sometimes, but it, I think it's just funny when I read it in in mods. No hate, no hate. Ooh, demand British-owned states close to the Mediterranean Sea. Gimme. Oh. That's rude. I'm gonna offer the Western Balkans protection. Here we go. Oh, for... Really? At least Yugoslavia accepts my Angelus. There we go. But Albania? What kind of... Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I guess... Yeah, you probably want to keep your independence, but I'm not gonna stand for that. I feel like Russia at the moment with unlimited manpower. It feels pretty great. Like, uh... <laughs> I think I get calls in every territory that decides to join me, so it's it, it's, it's absolutely... Oh, I thought I was going to Angelus them, but I guess not. The independence of Romania is guaranteed by Poland. Oh, maybe I can knock them out with one fell stroke. Oh, I could demand the French colonies. Let's see if they give it to me. Come on, France. Give in, you spineless piece of... That's what we thought. Hehe. <laughs> I'm not sure if the if the modder has forgotten, but but the Belgium doesn't exist as a as a nation, right? Does not exist, but it's not there. So unless it's, I'm very confused. Oh 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 oh. Okay, it's just there. Oh right, what, what? Yeah, I'm not going to bother doing that focus. They have zero factories. <laughs> Do you know what? I might as well just go all in against Romania. Yeah. Why not, eh? Have a little cheeky cheeky war in 38? Easy. Nice. Poland's attacking me and um, winning at the moment, but I doubt that'll last long. Oh, crap. When did that... Oh. Uh, might have forgotten about them. And, uh, you know what, Bulgaria too. They, they can come get some. Yes, they all join the Meda Moors. <laughs> And if I capitulate Poland, then they all, then they all capitulate, which is which is good, which is what I wanted. Alrighty, well, why don't we just do a massive old attack and, and see where that gets us? Uh, it would help if I'd have drawn an offensive line, admittedly. <laughs> all right, let's go! Yay! They're actually holding, mainly because my um, infantry is is kind of trash. I I probably should have sent my tanks to help. Mr. Rommel, do 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 do, win it for me. Do 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 do, this won't be like Africa where you got beat. You know what? I don't really think it matters too much if I lose a few hundred thousand troops here. I've got I've got plenty more where they came from. 
It is just like being Russia. Ah, uh, it does feel good sometimes to be a powerful person. Unlike in real life. No. <laughs> oh yes, we're losing quite, <laughs> quite, quite a lot of troops, but that's fine. That's fine. They're just, they're just getting some practice in for the real war. Oh, they're not, they're not advancing at all. Oh. A what? The Hispanic Alliance. Where the frickin' did frack? Oh, it's just Mexico. Okay. Ah, oh, well, this is brilliant, isn't it? Take all the states. Take them all. I will be a mega state. None will be able to oppose me. This is like the Roman Empire times two. Electric boogaloo. Is that still a thing? But yes, I am a mighty, mighty thick boy. Except I do have a heck of a lot of coast to protect, and I'm going to want to go after uh, the United Kingdom soon. So, <laughs> oh my god, this is so much coastline. They can just naval invade me from every freaking angle. Uh, this is going to be horrible. Absolutely horrible. But I have a cunning plan, don't you know? You will learn to fear me, world. Like, it's such a big border I have to protect. It's it's kind of bonkers that I've got this so many troops, yet they're all on garrison duty. And I just know that the French are going to join the freaking allies. So when I declare war on England, which I'm going to do right now, bish bash bosh, it, it's going to be fairly tricky. Uh, but my plan is to just hopefully annihilate their, uh, their fleets and their aircraft. So once I've neutralised uh, their fleets here, holy sugar sticks, they are coming in hot. How did that? It's like they must have already had those naval invasions prepared, because that's bonkers. So taking out their navy in one big engagement uh, didn't really go to plan. Oh my god! Did my entire navy get sunk? No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> But I can just bleed them dry with my aircraft, which is great. That's all I want to do, really. Yes. Yes, look at all of these. Oh, we're destroying so many destroyers. <sighs> it feels good to to actually have things. Like, I'm rarely ever this powerful. I always play as a silly small nation and it... Oh, I forgot about them. So I will trade 14 naval bombers for 12 of their ships any day. They're just going to hemorrhage ships. Oh, God, we took out a carrier. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Having a high seas fleet now. Now now my now my aircraft already had control. It's, it's overpowered. It's overpowered AF. That is the best exchange. I know, I, sorry, I'm going on about this a lot now, but I, I, it's been a long time since I even tried doing this kind of stuff. And 25... Oh, my God, it's amazing. I'm going to shorten the Pope's budget. I'm cutting you off, mate. Pope, no more. Um, I don't even know how the Netherlands exists. That's bonkers. Stop it. Stop existing. But uh, this allows my cunning plan to basically decimate their navy. Uh, well, oh, oh my god, they've got less than 100 ships. Uh, then, I, then I'm also um, getting rid of their air force. And then hopefully I can just like plot myself in. And have a rollicking good time. I should probably get some synthetic refineries so I can just be completely self-sufficient on fuel too. But, you know, if you've got 400 factories in 1940, you might as well take advantage, right? Boom. Kabloom. So it's it's a stalemate. I can't get out of feckin' East Anglia. They're, <laughs> they're really holding there, so I, I'm preparing a second invasion, which I'll probably send up through the... Uh, up here, the North Sea. And I'm just going to stop paying for the Pope completely. So, so sorry, Mr. Popey. Sorry. I did legitimately think the UK would be easier to crack than this. This is, uh... This is tough. Ah, goodbye, Pope. It's all about the Emperor now. Okay, so they've left some land undefended now. Because I've distracted them in the nerf. Uh, so hopefully my divisions up there can hold... And I can expand further into the south. And I think that that might be enough to capitulate them now. I hope so, because the Russians are claiming Bessarabia. And I'm kind of scared about that. Boom! We've taken more states. Yay! <laughs> this is... Um, it's, it's going It's going alright. It's going alright. I want to Angelus Greece, please. Just let me Angelus Greece, please. Okay, we're actually getting... Pretty far on our way there to remaking the Roman Empire, which is pretty good. 
I reckon France is probably open for the taking. Uh, once I have my... Ah, there we go. I have my 100 divisions to help me against the Soviet behemoth. I don't think that'll be enough to hold them, but... You never know. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to go after France. They might well join the Russians in the common turn, but I guess we'll see. We will see. If they do, I do have a Rusky defence force. I'm uh, not sure how effective it will be, but surely with some planes we can hold hold them off. I think just uh, battle planning will work here. Shite. Oh. Okay, that was very easy. Uh, not quite sure what happened to them there. I guess I'll take all states. And then Mongolia, I can also take all the states, apparently. Except I can't. Oh, balls. Okay, on to Nationalist Spain next, I guess. Da -da 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 -da. It's a me! Oh, I've changed to a black flag. And I'm led by Mr. Hitler. Uh, okay, well, that's great. That's great. I still remain the Holy Roman Empire, though, so that's good. That's good, at least. Spain is now falling. Once you kind of push through with the tanks, they, they can't really do much against you. Uh... So, although they were holding me in the mountains for a while, that's now... The resistance is falling. The resistance is falling. I'm not actually going to be able to change it to Roman Empire, I don't think. But I might be able to change it... I, actually, no, I think I will be able to now, with my focuses, I believe. Do, 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 do. Yeah, restore the Empire. Okay. Nice. I will hand it to the Spanish, though. They are putting up quite quite the defence. It, it won't be enough. But it was it was a good a good try. A good try all round from the team. Oh look at that. Rate my encirclement. Rate it. Rate it ten out of ten. Because that pretty much was the Oh god, that was like their entire army. Oh dear. I'll just right click with my tanks. They can't stop 40 combat with mediums. I don't even think that's the real meta anymore, but I don't really follow the meta. I just go with what I know. I'm too old to change. I'm guessing Turkey probably thought they were safe. Uh, unfortunately, I took back the territory the Dutch East Indies has took. So, Turkey is now screwed. Farewell. You tried. Oh, I forgot what's going on in the West. West the, the West? The rest of the world. Japan's gone full force against the Soviets. And they're winning. Which I'm kind of surprised at. Hmm. So once I've conquered Iraq, then I will have reformed the Roman Empire. I think. If this decision actually works. We'll have to see. But that this could be a major success for me. I don't think I've had a video go this well for a very long time. Right. I think we've done it. So if I just go bish bash bosh. Form the Roman Empire. Da -da 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 -da. Imperium Romanum. Hey, we've done it. I've actually done something correct. I might have just been started off a little bit over. Oh my god, I took India too. I forgot about that. Holy Roman Empire Raj. This went. This went. This went better than expected. So of course, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like um, for bringing back Imperium Romanum in 1943. Check out my video with Angori Tom, and I'll be back with more stuff very, very soon. Toodaloo!